just checking in for day 38. Uh, I am only doing a 40 day round, so Sunday will be my last day of drops. And then my three VCLDs. And then I'm on P3 Thursday. So exciting. Um, just a couple things. I was down, I said yesterday that I had a goose egg, but I actually had gained 0.2, and I don't know how. Oh, I didn't realize that. But anyway, uh, so I did Apple Day yesterday, and this morning I was down a pound from yesterday. So uh, I'm in new territory. Uh, being that I only have two days left, my goal was to reach 30 pounds. So I need to lose 1.8 pounds in two days. So that might not happen, but that's fine. Uh, I'm like everyone else out there right now, trying not to concentrate on the numbers so much. It'll happen in time, and I'm doing another round. So... Um, I figured, because I'm kind of at the borderline of a decade mark, so if I get under that decade, to, to try and maintain, like, being just under a decade really would kind of be annoying through all of P3 and maintenance, because one day you'd be in that decade, the next day you might be in the other decade, so maybe it'll be better that I'm not actually under that 10 point, 10 pound point or whatever, but... Uh, anywho, so that's good news. Apple Day worked. My uh, best friend did one as well. She lost two and a half pounds from her Apple Day. So that worked really well for her as well. She's actually going to cut her round a little bit short and end her round on Sunday as well so that we can start P3 together. Uh, we don't live in the same town or anything, but we talk every day, of course, and text and email and all that stuff. So we, we get to communicate pretty easily. Um, and uh, she's actually coming, I think I might have mentioned this, to visit me in April. And so we're going to have a weekend together. I'm just going to stay in some hostels and, and uh, check out some restaurants and stuff because we decided that we are going to try and do our load days together before she flies home. So we thought that would work out really well, us loading together and then um, us starting our very first VLCD day the day after she leaves. So that should work out really well. And I'm really excited about it all, to be doing it all with her. It's kind of cool. Um, one thing I wanted to show you guys that I have um, is uh, this makeup. Uh, it's made in Canada, but you should check it out. It's called Sweet Lalani. That's the powder, and it is a reflective mineral powder. Um, it's paraben three, paraben free, excuse me. So it's good stuff. And I have uh, the foundation as well. This is what the box looks like. Now the cool thing about this, and the reason I wanted to tell you, is um, obviously because it's mineral makeup, and they have eyeshadows and mascara and everything. But um, the uh, what's it called? They call it something else. Not cover up, but they call it skincare cover. Um, now what they they made it um, in mind with um, obviously. Um, not being uh, using animal products because it's vegan. It's vegan product, product, but also they made it in mind for burn victims and uh, people with skin problems. And I, um, I actually do. Um, I have asthma and allergies, so I've had uh, eczema since I was a kid, and um, I do have a bit of psoriasis as well. And it says on here that it is incredible for acne, rosacea. I don't know how to say that. Uh, eczema, vascular damage, under eyes, and tattoo coverings. So it's really good. I actually obviously um, love the mineral powder, but I haven't been able to try the um, cover up yet because I'm still on P2. But I once I do try it, I'll let you guys know how it is because I love the powder. It's wonderful. Um, and obviously, if they make it for um, people with skin problems, then it would uh, it would and animal free. It's um, not, I don't think, P2 friendly, unfortunately, though. It, I was reading the ingredients. Maybe you guys can help me. Uh, and it has, um, it's really tiny, sorry. Caranuba wax, uh, 
candelolia wax, I think that's how you say it, um, seed oil, so that's the one that I doubt you can have, vitamin E, grapeseed oil, another one, and green tea and rose hip, and that's it. So, pretty cool product. Um, like I said, I don't think it's good for P2. If you guys think those oils might be all right. I know essential oils are okay, but I don't think that grapeseed oil would classify as that. Um, so probably not in P2, but or yeah, in P3. So I can try it on Thursday and let you guys know. And what else did I have to say? I think that's about it. I'm um, kind of in the beginning of my round when I was listening to all of the other vlogs, and learning about this diet, I heard a lot of people talk about the uh, the mental struggle with the ending of a round, and I also heard a lot of people talk about liking the structure of P2, and I thought, I don't think that'll bug me, either one of those things. But here I am, and you're all right. It's completely a mental struggle, um, and I like the structure of P2. I'm kind of nervous about P3. I'm finding myself... Nervous to add foods back in and nervous to eat um, over triple my calories of what I've been eating. And obviously I'm going to do it because I know you have to and I know that you can gain if you don't. And I know a 500 calorie a day diet is not healthy without HCG. So it's not a question of whether I'm going to do it or not. But I'm definitely feeling the, the mental part of it. So I just wanted to uh, let you all know I know what you're going through now. <laughs> it took me a while, but... I did do a bit of a longer round, and 40 days is, I guess, can be a normal round mostly, but it feels long, um, especially because I did have uh, the same weight for the last four days before today. So it was kind of almost, I, I was almost on the verge of uh, stopping my drops this morning if I, my weight hadn't gone down, which probably would have been a good thing. But it did go down, but now, of course, I'm like hoping for just that much more in the next two days but like I said whatever happens happens I'll be happy and um, I'll just continue on next round um, I hope everyone had a great day I've been watching your vlogs uh, I want to give a shout out to Fluffy No Mo she's loading today so I hope she had a good day and stuffed her face it's so weird to say but it's uh, it's what you gotta do and I uh, I honestly believe that it's true that you will be hungry and first week a lot more if you don't load properly uh, with the proper fats and stuff. Um, healthy foods, of course, is fine if you don't want to be eating that other stuff, but who doesn't want to eat the other stuff, too? So um, I'm already looking forward to loading days because it'll probably be my last loading days. Well, I'm hoping, anyway. I might have to do three rounds, but I'm hoping only two. I'm going to only do two and then maybe um, stay at that weight for a while and exercise and see where I, if I feel like I have a lot more fat I want to lose on my body after that. So uh, we'll see how it goes then. But anyway, I hope everyone had a good day. And I will talk to you guys maybe tomorrow. Tomorrow's Saturday. So if I don't check in until Monday, I'll see you Monday on my first day without drops. Bye.